When picturing the San Pedro cactus, the image that often comes to mind is the tall, strong, rooted specimen with its columnar form reaching for the sky. But did you know that mutations and genetic developments have given rise to several fascinating growth forms of the beloved Trichocereus pachinoi? Today, we're diving into these various growth forms of the San Pedro cactus, from rooted columnar cactus to variegated crests. Let's get started. Starting off our list is the columnar rooted San Pedro. These are the most common forms of San Pedro that you'll find. They have tall, erect columnar stems that grow straight up. Rooted San Pedro are cacti that have matured into full, robust plants with strong, healthy roots that are ready to be planted in soil. The next kind of San Pedro is a columnar cutting. The growth form is similar to the rooted San Pedro in that it grows tall, columnar stems that grow straight up. A columnar cutting, however, does not have roots. It is a section of the parent plant that has been removed, calloused at the end, and is ready for propagation. We offer both rooted cactus and cuttings at San Pedro Source. Looking a little deeper into the genetics of San Pedro, we have what are called named cultivars. The term cultivar in this case meaning a cultivated variety of a cactus. In the San Pedro cactus community, there are named cultivars available through colonal reproduction only, which means the only method of propagation is by taking cuttings of an existing cactus. These special plants may have a unique lineage, be field collected specimens, or just beloved varieties from famous gardens. For example, the Torres and Torres is a specific cultivar collected by Donna and Manuel Torres in northern Chile. The Yawi is a named cultivar that was brought to Australia by a man named Harry Blossfield. Whereas named cultivars are propagated through clonal cuttings, certain species of the Trichocereus genus can form hybrids with other cultivars within the same species, genus, and sometimes even intergenus. This cross-pollination leads to the formation of hybrid seeds, growing into unique offspring with a mixture of traits. For example, the Dr. Green Thumbs PB3 is a Trichocereus scapulicola and a Trichocereus peruvianus hybrid. It has traits of both its parent plants, with the short spines of the scapulicola and the blue-toned epidermis from the Peruvianus. Now let's get into some funky shapes. A monstro San Pedro is a unique and unusual growth form of cactus. These shapes form due to growing abnormalities that signal new growths in different asymmetrical formations. These growth patterns result in contorted and distorted stems and are highly sought after by collectors. A San Pedro may find itself torn as it splits in two, forming what is called a dichotomous growth section akin to a pitchfork. This can happen to any columnar, monstrose, or crested form of San Pedro and can even split two, three, or four ways. Some individuals within a species may naturally display dichotomous growth or external factors such as environmental stress, damage, or injury to the growing tip of a cactus can trigger dichotomous growth. The crested San Pedro cactus is a unique stunning variation that results from abnormal growth at the tip of the cactus. Instead of new cells growing towards a single point, they end up growing in a line. This results in a crested cactus head with multiple tips presenting in a gorgeous fan-like wave. Sometimes a monstrous or crested San Pedro actually shapes back into a traditional columnar growth. When this happens, this is called a reverted San Pedro. While truly columnar cactus will not turn monstros, reverts have monstros or crests still in their genetics, so even when it reverts, it can start to crest once again. You never know what you'll get with a San Pedro revert cactus, and we think that adds a bit of mystery to this plant. The variegated columnar San Pedro adds a splash of color to the usual green. Variegation is a result of a lack of chlorophyll in certain areas of the plant tissues and can cause a light yellow or white patches of color on the epidermis of the plant. Variegated columnar San Pedro are typically a little thinner and more prone to rotting, so grafting these on to other cactus can help. Variegated crested San Pedro are colorful versions of a standard crest. These rare cacti display a bright yellow coloring along their fan-like ridges and are a great combination of unique traits. Variegated crests are great for impressing your friends, but we don't recommend these for beginners as these tend to be more rot-prone and a little more difficult to care for. 
There you have it, a guide to the diverse world of San Pedro cacti growth forms. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, we bet there's something you've never seen before. Please let us know if you have any questions and make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more cactus content.